It's storytelling night at the Pensacola Symphony, and we're going to turn to the music of Richard Strauss, the great imaginative musical storyteller of all time. Strauss wrote a lot of program music, but probably his greatest piece is based on the novel by Miguel Cervantes, Don Quixote. So how does Strauss tell a story with music? Four ways. First of all, characters. The title character, Don Quixote, is portrayed by a solo cellist, and his sidekick, Sancho Panza is portrayed by the solo violist, and those personalities come through through the solo instruments in a way that's absolutely unmistakable. Secondly, the locations of all the different episodes. There's a part of Don Quixote that takes place flying through the night on a wooden horse, and to do that, Strauss actually has a wind machine creating the sound of wind. There's another scene that takes place in a field of sheep, and the woodwinds all go flutter-tugging to make the sound of baying sheep. Hundreds of examples like that. The third thing, actual events. The famous scene where Don Quixote attacks a windmill because he thinks it's a giant with great big arms. And he's, his lance gets caught in the blade and he gets lifted off his horse. Well, when he gets lifted up off his horse, the harp goes and he gets dumped on the ground and the timpani whacks on the ground. It's hysterically funny and very, very touching at the same time. But it would be a mistake to think that this piece is nothing more than a clever sequence of events because Strauss actually probes very deeply into the emotions of the piece as well. And that's the fourth and most important thing. The final scene of the piece after Don Quixote has suffered his final loss is one of the saddest and most pathos-filled passages of music that Strauss ever wrote. Of course, it does have, in effect, a happy ending as, as Don Quixote goes into retirement with some beautifully serene music to wrap it up. It's an amazing story. It's an amazing piece of music, and it should be a great concert.